So you get to now create your own story. Now, if, you, if you're gonna deal with the lien, do you want the owner occupying the property? You can say yes. Or if you want a non-owner occupied or AKA an absentee owner, you would do owner occupied no. Or if you, you want to go no, we go in no. Let's go no. Definitely. I think we should go no. I make I make more money targeting uh, non-owner occupied properties than owner Perfect. occupied properties. Absolutely. Right. So the next thing now is occupancy status. This is whether they're answering their mail or not. So since we're dealing with a non-owner occupied property, this is most likely a rental property. So now the question is, do we want someone there? So if we want to deal with the tenant, then we would be uh, occupied in that second filter, right? So we want a non-owner occupied property, but it's occupied with a tenant. If we don't want to deal with any tenants, it'd be non-owner occupied and vacant. That way we know we're dealing with someone who's not living in their occupied or own property and it's not currently uh, rented right now because it's in between tenants. All right. All right, which one you want to, uh, which one you want to do? I feel like you'd be more tired if you don't got a tenant in there. But Hey, you know what? I think that's a good idea. Let's do no tenants here. All but, right. uh, as you know, so here's what we got to be very careful on, right? When you're manipulating data, you are definitely manipulating the list. So right here, because we're being very specific, we're saying liens, not owner occupied and not vacant. How many results do we have now, James? Yeah, I punched it down to two, which is exactly. yeah, it's fairly small. So, so. You, you can get very specific, which our system allows you to do, but it's something I don't encourage you guys to do too much uh, unless you know exactly what you're looking for. This is why we give you 10,000 leads. It's a, a game of numbers, right? So yeah. if, in this case, James, if I was in, in your market and I only got two records, I know for a fact two properties, uh, two leads aren't going to pay the bill. So I would probably tone down my filters. I would probably, instead of doing non-owner occupied and vacant, I would probably do vacant and occupied right now. And I think that would be an important one because uh, President-elect Joe Biden just signed an executive order to extend evictions. So properties with liens and vacant or not vacant could both be a lead for us. I agree. I think we should actually do any then so which that'll punch us up to 19 Oh, Which, okay. Yeah. Uh, we can do that for owner occupied too. We can again do owner occupied or non owner occupied. I think we go, if we're at non owner occupied, then any that takes us to 19 leads. But you know what I want to do, folks, too? Uh, here's one thing, right? I think we're even making this, like showing you guys like a more narrow view here. Cause I targeted one specific neighborhood of Cleveland that I really like. It's old Brooklyn. But you guys who watch the show, you know, you read the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, dude. That's like one of like, I don't know, 25 zip codes in Cleveland that I hit. So real quick, I'm going to just pop this back out to Cleveland because you guys, you guys look up the data on your, your cities that you're looking at. And you know, like Cleveland's got a population. The actual city of Cleveland is like 382,000. So let's see what amount of data we can go through when we're actually opening up to that whole city of Cleveland. Because I feel like we're not giving you guys the clearest picture if I narrow it down that much. So let's go back to Cleveland and then we were um, in the liens, right, brother? Yeah, we are. So if we go back to filters, I think it should still be there lingering. Yep. Um, oh, cool. Okay. Owner is. occupied. Let's go back to no, because we want to focus on our, our, our tired landlords. Then we left it open to any. So now, guys, that list, there was only 19 properties, right? Like, here's the deal. Yeah, that's super targeted. But there's the other thing. You do have to have a level of volume if you're going to be trying to make money in this game. Like if you guys are mailing out 19 letters at the time, like y'all ain't going to be able to quit your jobs or, or leave that business, right? You got you to gotta go big. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.